Hello friends, my name is Pinaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. So today we will talk about account aggregators. So in short, double uh, A or AA. Now account aggregators are the most futuristic step or probably a master stroke taken by RBI in the area of enhancements of open finance. Now the key takeaways from this video would be how does the account aggregator works and who are the set of licensed players in India at this point of time. So let's begin. Now account aggregators are uh, one of the applications of open finance. They use the concept of open finance. So I have already created one video on open finance. If you have not seen that, I would provide the link here and kindly refer that. Now, as the concept says, your information is shared between your financial information source and the financial information users. So in short, or in standardized form, financial information source are called as financial information provider or FIPs. This is a standard terminology is given uh, by RBI. And financial information users are called as FIUs. These are the third parties who seek information about the customer for various needs. So there might be the need of processing of a loan or there might be giving a credit card or there might be any other services providing in form of BNPL uh, loans or any other things, right? So any financial information user who would seek this information uh, are called as FIUs. Now, for FIUs, they have to be a registered entity under your financial sector regulation. So, the, only those would be the parties they can access uh, the customer data. Now, consider that these kind of arrangement of account aggregators were not there. So, in that case, financial information user would have to actually create the API breeze uh, between your financial information provider to get the details when they ask for that at real time. <clears throat> so there might be hundreds or thousands of files, right? So on that aspect, creation of API links between all that from scratch would be a tedious task. So what government did is that uh, RBI has introduced account aggregators in between who act as a breeze between your FIPs and FIUs, definitely there has to be all the communications done in form of APIs. That means with your customer consent, with specific purpose or reason why a certain FIU need this information and what information piece is needed and definitely with digital signature that means it is in encrypted format um, that that would be given from FIPs to FIUs. Now who are our FIPs? So whoever possesses any information any financial information regarding the customer they can be registered themselves as FIPs. So at this point of time if you see there are multiple banks who have registered there are different NBFCs who have registered, government agencies, your asset management companies, depository or depository participants, similarly insurance companies or insurance repositories, pension funds and recently being added GSTN specifically for SME credit purpose to provide GSTR 1 and 3B forms on the invoices. So all these are different FIPs. Now account aggregators will get this information, so they will collect this information based on request. They can consolidate information from various sources. But the point to note here is that at this point of time, RBI has not given sanction to any account aggregator to aggregate or um, modify any piece of information 
they can only consolidate from different parties <coughs> and provide it to FIUs. The third part is provide. Now, we have discussed about this that the communication has to happen in form of APIs only with customer consent. So, by doing this, the benefit is that at this point of time, the all the financial information providers would only form relationship with account aggregators. That means the API link between account aggregators. And similarly, FIUs only need to create your API link with, uh, with your account aggregators. There might be multiple information provider and FIUs do not need to create separate bridge or separate link uh, to for data exchange. Now, this has enhanced the uses of open finance to a huge extent and if you see there are now thousands of FIUs who have started using the digital data exchange for their various purposes. Now let's look at who are few of the RBA licensed account aggregators at this point of time. So to name few as of 2022 whoever are licensed, your CAMS, FinServe, Griff Connect, Pinview or which is Kukeza Technologies, Safe, which is your dashboard AA services, One Money, NESL Asset Data, Protean, PhonePay, Yodli and Anumati. These are the ones who are actually got license. So where I have put this bracket is that your product is Anumati but the company is Perfius. So, uh, in that way, I have tried to give the, this information. Now, I have also listed few of the FIPs specifically in the bank segment. So, at this point of time, all these banks have agreed to provide data through one or the other A's uh, for customer benefit. Now, a customer has to initiate this registration. So, customer does not need to register with all the AAs, if you just register with one, your customer information can be shared with customer consent from FIPs to FIUs. So this has actually enhanced the journey or the efforts uh, or, or the uh, growth path of open finance to a huge extent by cutting down the efforts uh, that has to be taken for each of these FIUs to integrate. I hope uh, you would have uh, got the idea about how account aggregators are playing a major role here. A lot of enhancement has to still come uh, in form of data storage or data aggregation. I would keep making additional videos um, as and when there is any market enhancements uh, happening. Thanks a lot uh, viewers for watching this. Please uh, do uh, share and subscribe if you like it. Um, uh, if you have any clarifications, please put a comment and I would be happy to take that. Thanks a lot.